Okay, Gargi Nandi Roy wants to come in here, wants to respond to you. Uh, let, let me quickly go across. Go ahead. You want me to come, Deepak? Uh, yes, yes. Whom do you ask yes. to come? Me? Okay. Uh, yeah, thank you for inviting. Yes, yes, Gargi, go uh, ahead. You know, obviously, at the outset, let me say, we all want Prajwal Ravana to be punished for the heinous crime that he has committed. But what is sickening, you know, this kind of politicization by the Congress party and the hypocrisy of the Congress. Firstly, when the day when Prajal Ravana fled, he must have driven from Hassan to Bangalore three hours distance. Whose police is there in Karnataka? It is the Congress government. Why did the Congress government and its police allow in the first place to uh, Prajal Ravana to flee? Why didn't they stop him there? Was, was it the central government sitting there to stop him? Now also, as you have already said, it, the case is with SIT, then it has to be handed over to the CBI, right? Because, and now we have seen a grandfather, and who is a former PM? He has written a letter, not a request. He has issued a warning. Even before Prajal Ravana was given an MP ticket, may I remind you that Kumar Swami was not in favor of Prajal Ravana getting a ticket, but then ultimately he got the ticket. But this news was in, uh, not in there that time. So, and even the video, some people are saying there are four or five years old or whatever. How does so it, maybe the how does it matter, when they Gargi, are in Gargi Roy, how does it matter whether Kumar Swami was in favor of him getting a ticket or not? He was finally given a ticket. Yes, but then that's the bottom line. Not, and today we're not here to discuss how did the Congress let him go or how the BJP let him go. That's not the aspect. Today the so question is how are they going to bring him back? And yes, whether it was, you know, back. humiliating for Mr. Deve Gowda or not, well, that is something that's there. Of course, it, it, it has brought in great disrepute to the family. But the question right. here is, what purpose does such a letter serve? Has, has the JDS gone to the SIT and said, well, when Prajwal left the country, this is the information that we had about his whereabouts. This was his plan where he was supposed to travel. Are they helping in the investigation in any way? What is the point and purpose of such letters? It is probably to gain some sympathy if many of them would look at it that way. And the chief minister has already said that. The chief minister is saying in all likelihood it was, you know, Mr. Deve Gauda who asked him to leave the country. And now he's saying that this is for public consumption, the letter. That is Congress is saying. Now, why will a grandfather, such an old man, nobody, anybody in the family, no sensible person can support this kind of crime. So I don't think Mr. Deve Gaura is supporting Prajwal Revanda. Nobody can. But what should not be done is politicizing of this time, which Congress is doing. And the thing is, Congress is so selective. It is talking about JDS as an ally of the BJP. But when a Swati Malyal get assaulted in a chief minister's house, what did the Congress do when Priyanka Gandhi says that ladki hai, lad sakti hu? Did they come out in support of Swati Maliwal? And now they are doing victim shaming. They are saying everything about Swati Maliwal. Okay, so, so this is the hypocrisy of the Congress. This case should not be politicized at all, I feel. This case, the priority should be bring that person back. And already there is a lookout circular. I'm very sure okay, so today what or is, tomorrow, what do you, how, much, how much effort do you think that the BJP has put in up until now? To, to bring back Prajwal Revanna. Now, of I course, th like I mentioned, let me make this very clear. They are not the ones who are investigating. The state police is right. based on the requests that, that have been sent to, you know, the center. As far as cancellation of his passport is concerned, is, is that something not under the purview of uh, the BJP at the center? And what are they doing about it? I think that, you see, the letter, the, a prime minister does not cancel diplomatic visas and all, all diplomatic privileges. There are departments and I think it should be done. And it will Through be done, but it is not the well, Prime Minister's been department, to the even MA. that is... We've been told that the MA is now processing it too. Yeah, so MA, I think it will be done fast. And now, since the state government is saying that it is unable to do it, because it was unable to stop Prajwal from fleeing the country, so now the case should be handed over to the CBI. Let it be done by central agencies. Nah? And it is a heinous crime that he has committed. Why not a central agency probe it? So let a central agency probe it. And you are also very right that people who leaked those pen drives, all those videos and screenshots of chats and everything, they have exposed the women too. So the women are also now, imagine those victims, they are running away. That should be also found out who are the people who uh, okay. uh, exposed okay. those videos. I agree those with you. That's also an important aspect that needs to be investigated. That I believe Brinda Adige wants to, to come in. Brinda, if you, if you could quickly put your point forth.
Okay, first and foremost, we need to understand that this letter of warning is just an eyewash. What is the need to write a letter of warning? You could have written a letter. Uh, the uh, Mr. Deve could have, could have written a letter to the Prime Minister saying, cancel my grandson's passport just now, today. Why are the courts dragging their feet? He could have written a letter to the Chief Justice and said, why don't you look at what are the cases presented before you, before your judges and do the needful? Why is the MAA trying to see, I'm trying to look at plausible clause, whether it can be cancelled? What, why are the union government, the courts, all dragging their feet? And what does this letter say? This letter says nothing about the torture, trauma, indignity that the victims are suffering even today. What have they done for the victims? What has this family done just now for the victims? Because we know that the victims and their families are suffering a lot. Have they done anything concretely for the victims and their families in Hassan? Have they boosted their One confidence? One of them was allegedly kidnapped, Brinda. One of them was allegedly kidnapped. The matter, of course, is One in court. One of them was kidnapped. And why hasn't, why, why hasn't he come out in favor or, or uh, giving some support to the victims? All of that is not there. So this letter is an eyewash. And one thing we, I must place on record, this uh, man Prajwal uh, Revana is not there all by himself. He has the connections of his family, resources from his family, funds from his family and also the moral support. Otherwise, this guy cannot survive for such a long time outside India. So the family and their letter writing and all of these things is a big uh, eyewash and hoodwinking the voters and the citizens over here, especially the victims. What we want to ask is, this man is a danger, is a threat, not only to the society, but more to the victims. And there was no need for HD Revana to be given bail. There are so many high-profile elected representatives sitting in various jails without getting bail. What is the need to give bail to him? Probably if this man was still inside jail, this uh, Prajwal Revana might have returned. We don't know. But you could have kept him there. What was the need to give him bail? So all of these questions, how does Mr. Devay Gowda want to respond to it? How does his family want to respond to it? Why is the union government dragging its feet? What, what more do they want? to look at the causes or the yeah. areas and of And questions really emerge, He's Brinda, about, about what are the measures that have been taken by the SIT and what are the, and are they going to make this public? They can freeze his bank accounts. They can seize his property here. Uh, you know, they can go to the courts and, and they, they, they could have gotten a warrant issued, which happened very recently, of course. Now, while... The, he is, of course, out of the country and that's pretty clear. Immo immobilizing him and his resources is something that the SIT could have focused on. And if they have, it's something that they should probably, you know, give more clarity on, which hasn't come in.